Well, how do there, chums? As I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm going to be delivering you in the best tips for this expedition. So, yeah, I've already done a, P a PlayStation playthrough. If you want to see that, hit up that playlist up there. But this is just my best tips. So enjoy, people. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay, chums, my first tip would be to find yourself a space station that sells S-Class warp modules. So there you go. I'm going to purchase them here. Be careful you don't go and buy these, because they're S-Class reactors. You want the actual hyperdrive module. So purchase those. Now, you can do this inside of creative mode. Okay. Now, if you've already picked up the fission rod inside of your main save, you may also want to be in creative mode and create a load of baits. So I've created all of these baits right here. This is the stuff that I'm going to be taking into the expedition with me. So also what I want to put across there is these warp modules that I just picked up. All three of those, I'll put those in the Starship too. So now I've got all of this that I want to be taking into the expedition so far. So I also want to take in a load of launch thruster fuel for taking off and landing, all that sort of shenanigans. 30 should be enough. And I also want to do the same with ion batteries and also the life support gel. But I'll reconvene in a moment with everything that I'm hoping to take into the expedition. Okay, when you're actually in creative mode as well, what you can do is store technology from your actual ship, start like the idiom drive right there, and then you can simply just craft it straight back in again. So you can take copies of any of your tech from your starship that you wish to take with you. So you might want, you know, the S class module there for um I don't know, launch whatever you can take whatever you want in um the aqua jets though i don't know whether you should take those because i think your ship actually gets them anyway inside of uh, playthrough so anyway i've got all of this sort of stuff that i want to take in another thing that you could take in if you wanted to is the fishing rod however that might bug out your quest so i wouldn't i wouldn't if i was you i'll just wait until you get it inside of the actual quest line you don't want to knacker up your quest so this is everything that I want to take into the actual expedition with me. You can see that I haven't got a provision for nanites. I don't want to copy my ship or my multi-tool. I've got everything that I need in here to make my multi, well, my actual exosuit and my ship pretty good. And that's all we really need for this expedition, to be fair. Righto. So now let's go on over to the mission terminal. Okay, so I haven't brought provision for nanites, but I just bought what I probably would need is a provision for units so i'm going to craft myself a load of stasis devices and that's that's pretty much everything i feel that i'm going to need so if i do want to buy a new ship i have got the units to buy a new ship basically there we go let's go on over to the actual console then and let's see what i want to take with me Shaboom. right and i'm going to fill this up and then I'll reconvene in a moment. Well, Jams, okay, so I've got three hyperdrive modules. I've got the idiom drive prepackaged, and I've got life support modules, movement modules, and I've also got myself the refiner mark two. Now down here, I've also put in the automated trap pods. I've created myself 10, so at least I can start putting them down right at the start for the lazy fisherman badge. So yeah, I've got those in. I don't think that's going to break anything because I, I, I did it on my PlayStation save as well anyhow. But yeah, I've got all the baits here. I did miss this bait. I've just crafted that one. You need that one for alluring in stormfish. So yeah, everything else though remains pretty much what you saw before. So there we go, people. And pirate right you can use that to fuel your starship rather than tritium i had a bit of trouble inside of my expedition on playstation that i wasn't finding many asteroids now you can go to ring planets and shoot the rings there's loads of asteroids there but i'm taking pyrite because that fuels your ship anyway on pulse so here we go i'm ready to start my expedition now i guess let's get into this and accept a mondo okay right now all that stuff that i squirreled away I'm not going to get to get it until we get to the actual Nexus, which you don't get until after your first warp jump. But pretty much every expedition is the same. Find your ship, fix your ship, 
take on off. Now, I don't think there's much I need to tell you about doing that. It's all quite self-explanatory. So reconvene with the decent tips in a moment. One tip, as soon as you spawn in, you want to go into your network second settings, and I'm just going to disable multiplayer and uh, make sure PvP set to no one anyway, but there we go. Anyhow. Okay, Jums, now what I would say is before you take off, you know, make sure you've got a warp cell. You get gifted the warp cell anyway, or at least I found one inside of my ship. If you haven't, make sure you craft yourself some warp cells. I mean, I've got an antimatter house in there. I'd need chromatic metal to spin that into antimatter if I haven't got it to create the uh, warp cell. But I got gifted a warp cell inside of my ship. So, yep, yeah, I'm going to be taking off to the skies. I guess, people, let's head on off. Up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Now there's no there's no planets inside of this system that are all too interesting. But what you can do is just pop into the space station very quickly and upgrade your exosuit storage capacity. Because storage in this is very finite and you're gonna need it. You're gonna need storage massively. Okay, so as soon as you take off, you're gonna pop the blue yonder badge. Make sure you claim that. That's going to give you your hyperdrive blueprints and also your base computer. Okay, so here we go. I can install locate that. Lovely jubbly. And that's what I need to fuel to get us out of here. But I'm just going to pop into the station like I mentioned and upgrade my exosuit. I'll show you where you do that. Okay, right. You want to head up to this vendor up there. Oh, can I fly up there? There we go. I can. And to this tube over here interact with it it will cost you units but hopefully not all too many your first one is for free so i'm just going to stick that one in lovely jobs and um yeah i'm ready to move on on now there's not much else to do in here but do that in every single space station that you can so every time you warp go to the space station and do that if you can afford to then also call in the spatial anomaly or the nexus whatever you want to call it and go up to see Celine in the back where the npcs are and you can do it again there so you can do it twice per system i'll show you in a mo okay we're ready to now do our first warp jump it should already be on the expedition route make sure you don't sort of jump away from that and right now i can't do much of a warp jump because i haven't got my warp jet engines upgraded so i'm just going to do a simple jump like so Right, when you first arrive at Kate, and get rid of this screen, if you do press down, you can see that the Nexus isn't on the old Dubri. You can't sort of, you know, call it in. Just pulse just a teeny tiny bit, which I haven't got much pulse fuel left. You know, I've only got like you know, a little bit remaining. This is why I brought a load of pyrite with me. And hopefully if you pulse just a little, there you go. Now you can call in the spatial anomaly. And now let's go fly on in. And let's go and claim all of our stuff from that console. Right, so heading over to the console just behind the Nexus Cube inside the Spatial Anomaly. And here is the console right here. Lovely. Let's go hit it up. Power. And let's go take all the stuff out. Now, I'm going to focus on the stuff that I super duperly need to start off with. So I definitely want those. And that. All these technologize. Anyway. I'll reconvene once I've managed to get everything out. Again, well, I've taken everything out of there. Now I'll show you where Celine actually resides. So if you head on up this staircase, past Hello Kitty face. Yeah, it looks like Hello Kitty hit a lawnmower. And then head on up this way, around here, and all the way down here. So Celine resides just there. You want to head on over here and interact with this. This is the upgrade terminal that's going to give you an extra additional slot. And at the moment, I can't actually do it because I haven't got enough monies. However, the weird thing is, I did just pick up a load of infantry gains. It's inside my starship. Um, so technically, I should be able to use these to upgrade myself. But for whatever reason, it's not registering that I've got them on me right now. Okay, so make sure you install everything that you've brought with you. And I put in my warp drives and stuff like that, my movement modules and my life support modules. And I've also got the stasis devices that I wish to sell. The reason why it wouldn't let me interact with that chamber over by Celine is because I didn't have hardly any units. So let's go sell a load of stuff. So yes, yeah, so I'm selling all the things that I bought to generate units, the stasis devices. 
and I can also sell things that are taking up infantry slots now, like like that, you know, because I've, I've got all the warp fuel I need and things, so I'm all good now. Cool, yeah. So now what I can do is go and upgrade the starship slottage. Might as well just keep the starship that we've been gifted. Oh, is that the is that the ship outfitting? Yes, here we go. Let's go over here. Upgrade starship and apply augmentation. Yep, want to get all that in there. Get a load of storage done. Now, because it's only a C class, you can only input so much. And during this expedition, it doesn't upgrade the class of your starship to a B or a A or S class. So you're kind of stuck with that when it comes to your actual storage capacities, unless you get a load of freaking nanites or buy another ship or whatever. But I'm, I'm happy with just having that much storage. We should be okay with that. Now I need to go over to the exosuit sort of slottage, which is this tube again over here. You should find that now we've got some units, it allows us to go to town with it. I should be able to interact with it again. Yeah, there we go. And upgrade all of this. But you can see here, it's actually free now. It's not costing me anything. So yeah, you can slap in all the storage I like there. I've got... I think I've got about 60 or 120 of these with me, maybe even more than that. So I'm just going to get all that installed. Okay, next up, reach the first angling fishing destination. Now that I've got all those warp engines installed, it's nice and easy. Now, because, you know, I've already upgraded all my slottage, I don't overly need to go to the station each time and hit up those storage slots. I left that in this video as a top tip for those that didn't have the ability to upgrade their storage to maximum like I just did. So anyway, head towards the rendezvous point. Now, each of these secret fishing locations are probably good places to put a base and maybe your own little fishing platform and come back here to do ambient fishing. And it adds it to the portal list. You know, you can call it Rendezvous 1 base or Rendezvous 2 base rather than using the stations. Okay, when you do pop this, that's when you're going to get yourself your rod. Yeah, your fishing rod plans. Lovely jubbly. To install that, you're going to need dehydrogen jelly and carbon nanotubes. Pretty easy to craft, to be fair. Carbon nanotubes out of carbon dehydrogen jelly. You use dehydrogen. And the chromatic metal, you can dig out the ground. The, cr the chromatic metal, you need to find it as copper. It would have an icon a bit like that, but it would say copper just there. And then you refine that into your chromatic metal. Golio. Yeah, you're going to bring on it and pow pow. Chicka boom boom. Done, done, and done. Swahid. Okay, I'm ready to fish, pretty much. Okay, right. Well, we've got the base printer plans so i'm gonna stick this here now this is quite a good planet really four storms they happen every now and again anyway i mean it's it hasn't really got any activated stuff on here but the storms do happen there is a badge to get storm fish but yeah this is just quite a nice planet to have a little base on just to do some ambient fishing if you like i mean i might put down those auto catches here being it's the first planet now you're probably thinking captain steve but we haven't hardly got any base building parts. Well, as long as you've got a teleport and you've got some of the basic bits, it is, it's not too difficult to build yourself a lovely little base. You can see there, look, I can only build one of these 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 actual parts. But if I was to press triangle, which takes you into wire mode, it would tell you all the different buttons at the top. So if you see in the top bar there, on the far right, it tells you what button is wire mode. So for me, it's triangle. For you on your platform, it'd be something else. And then I'm going to be using the place button, which is R2. Okay, place Y. You can see there, it's the second tile in at the top. So if I press R2 and triangle at the same time, it should place the part for free. Okay, so yeah, it's a case of well, R2 in place. You can go over here and do it again. R2 in place. Do it again. It can be hard to get the timing. And if you're too close to your ship, it's not going to work, which I just spotted that I was doing. There you go. And then if you delete them, you're going to get the materials, you see. And then if I do want to build myself a little jetty, easy peasy then. I can now build three of these. So I get a bit closer to the water's edge. And I'll put one there. Snap place mode. No one there. And you know what? I might put in a timber arch. Well, I've run out of carbon again. So all I'm going to do, wire, 
and place. Delete it so I've got the materials, and then I can put it where I like. I want it there. Probably want another one of them, actually. It's a bit quicker than going and getting the resources. I mean, this is how glitch building's done anyway. So some people might say, Captain Steve, you're a cheat. It's in the game mechanics. If it's in the game mechanics, I'm going to use it. So there we go. I'm just going to carry on building out a nice little base here. Okay, chums, then to get your next badge, you just need to try out your fishing rod. So just make sure it's selected. Now, to actually get the message in a bottle, you need to dredge. So you don't put any bait on there at all. So, yeah. And we do have to catch our first five fish. So, anyway, let's do the dredging because we want to get the badge, the one that got away. So, there you go. I'm going to test it out anyhow. Now, to catch a fish, you're going to see that they do bite on your line every now and again. If you've got haptic feedback, you're going to feel them nibble. You don't want to hit it then. You want to hit it when your line goes dead straight and you see loads of, like, activity happening and your joypad sort of vibrates a little bit more so here we go there you are oh it escaped but there you go i got toe in the water and acquire in the fishing rig sweet let's um let's uh, go and pop those badges pow i'm just gonna cast out again we're doing some dredging Okay, chums, if you do go into the actual options and go into difficulty, you can actually set a lot of these things to a lower sort of increment, if you want, inside of the actual expedition. So you can change that down a little bit and do whatever you wish. I might leave that as similar, to be fair. But look at this. They've added in new fishing ones, and they've actually let you put it onto auto catch. So you can do that if you wish. It's not going to affect anything. At least I don't think it is. There we go. Let's uh, cast that in. And let's just see what sort of difference that makes to catching fish. Hopefully it's going to speed it up a bit. I haven't tried this myself, but there we go. Let's have a look-see. It says there, we've got uh, two or five caught already. We'll see if it does the auto-catch like it says it would. I was hoping it would do it straight away. But um, no, no such luck. Come on. There we go. I didn't have to do anything there. Nice. So you can just leave it if you want. You know. Pretty darn simples. I've took the bait off. And I'm just doing some dredging. Because we've got to try and catch something that isn't a fish. Let's see if we get lucky. When you are fishing without bait, you're more likely to catch flotsam. Something that's not a fish, like a welly boot, something like that. So just take the bait off and hopefully you're going to get lucky and you're going to catch something that's not a fish. I've got it on auto catch. Look, I'm not actually touching anything. No hands. And it should bring it ashore. There we go. There we go, chums. I've caught something that's not flotsam, but it's not a fish. So I think this might count. Let's see. There we go. Yep, that counted. And that's uh, a piece of old technology. It's usually not as good as the technology that you would normally get, so you can kind of ignore them. There we go, there it is right there. Install rusted technology. I mean, I can look at it, but I don't think it's going to be half as good as what I've already got. Yeah, 3%, where my other stuff is like in the 40s, you see what I mean? So you're probably best to just sell that if you get that. Yeah, one of the rewards you're going to get for these early badges is a nutrient processor. So I'm just going to put mine just there as a little outdoor barbecue, because why not? And you can see there I haven't got the parts, so I'm just going to do the wire mode and place... There we go. Now I have got a nutrient processor. You can put one of your fishes in there. It doesn't really matter which one. I've put in the starfish. And we're going to make delicate legs. As soon as you do that, doesn't matter which fish you do. Any fish will do. It's all good. You're going to pop a badge for catch of the day. There we go. That's all of phase one. There are all my tips for phase one. Hopefully it's going to be pretty much straightforward anyway. But I'd like to think that you've picked up a couple of decent tips inside of phase one. Now on to phase two. Something I'm going to do before I move on to phase two though. Let's just go into my removable technology. And I've got these automated traps. Now, you can put something like three at each of your bases. 
can be a little bit finicky to get them to place where you, exactly where you want them to place and you can only do one at a time you have to sort of go in and out of your menus it's a little bit a little bit tedious there you go so you can put down three at each of your bases i've brought 10 along with me so hopefully they're going to start auto catching right oh and uh, i'm going to just upload my base and give it a sensible name cool yeah right so we just got to get to the next rendezvous point and if you've managed to upgrade your warp engines like i have it's pretty simple if you've fueled your freaking warp engines ha! okay oh my days that's a schoolboy error isn't it okay boom done now let's do that now let's jump to the actual rendezvous point and it's pretty simple there's not too many hard milestones inside of this actually phase two but i would touch on the ones that are a bit tricky so in phase two just because i put some bait on my line and i snared something i already popped two badges on that first planet so if you play about with a few baits it's easily done okay so what i'm doing now is i'm flying out to sea find myself a nice little island that looks like it's got deep water around it and uh, i'm just going to put a little base down here now, now people and uh, yeah do the same sort of thing again well holy fudge this planet's got worms i didn't know that look at it go holy mackerel that's so cool very awesome i was here ages on my playstation save didn't see a single worm how bizarre cool well there we go i finished building my little lodge anyway okay chum so on this planet you want to do something that's in phase four this is in a hot water land seven uncommon high temperature fish so here we go if you want to get uncommon fish the best bait to use for that is this spiced chum so we go let's stick that on the line and let's go catch those seven fish shall we cool here you go now you might be lucky because it's daytime you might go and catch some of the day fish if it turns to night time you might be lucky and catch some of the night fish see because it's night time i am catching night fish every now and again like this one which goes towards another badge there you go i just popped the night fish in one without even trying i'm just trying to catch the day fish, well the, the the hot fish at the moment Okay, as you can see, this one says Scorched Wells, and it's uncommon, so that goes into the seven. So, yeah, excellent. Eh? Yeah, I've got three of seven now. Well, now it's daytime, I'm catching day fish as well, which is another milestone for that, which is just going to happen ambulantly. There you go, what I tell you? Popped it already, I guess. Sun on the water. The nice thing about having auto fishing turned on is you can actually go into your um, expedition claim your other badges and still catch a fish in the background pretty nice there we go just learnt all that the only thing is with the um auto fishing is you get the sound of the reeling the whole time in the back of your head there you go we've got that sweet oh there we go now i've got four of seven something else that may happen is a storm may roll in now you can swap your bait out so if i go into my baits so during the storm if you swap yourself to a different bait which is this one here and you can see here when i put it in it says attract storm loving fish so if you see a storm roll in you may as well make use of it you still got a chance of catching the hot fish anyway but this just gives you a bigger chance of catching storm fish you've got to catch free fish for fins of thunder in phase five so whenever you're fishing it doesn't matter what planet you're on if you see a storm rolling in swap to your storm bait and hopefully you're going to land yourself a lovely fish i'm kind of liking and not liking the auto fish thing there we go there we go i've just caught a storm fish very nice okay chums i managed to pop the in hot water during that storm so not too bad to be fair the storm is just clearing i was hoping to bag myself one more fish before the storm ended because you'll probably see when I go back in there over on phase five now the storm fish which is where are you free fish in the storm I think I've caught two yeah I've caught two nearly did it and that's one of the hardest badges to pop will this one still count let's see no 
missed it can't miss my opportunity there but i've now caught the seven inside of the uh, phase was it four i think yep so that's now done so it's good to get those out of the way okay right so we're still in phase two we've got to land the message of the angler now to do that what you gotta do is take your bait off the line so you're fishing with no bait and that's called dredging and you just want to keep dredging until you get your message of the angler okay while i'm dredging for that bottle i'm going to release a couple of fish Ah, oh, it must be in the water to release the fish so i'll do that in a moment we'll see if we get lucky let's we'll see if we manage to catch a fish but then i will be releasing five fish after this attempted catch come on get on that hook you be a bottle it's not a bottle okay right well what i do is i just plop in myself in the water just quickly and i'm going to release five fish yeah cab crabs count as fish there we go oh we only had to release three but i released five. Oh well i'm out i'm extra 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 you know nice i'm gonna call there we go done and we've got the exo skiff plans so the exo skiff pretty nice little thing i need to actually install that okay right we'll get into that in a moment because i need to continue I'm trying to get this bottle well, at last, chums, I managed to get the message in a bottle. Brilliant. It took ages. I'm not going to lie, that took ages. There we go. Cool. And there we are. I was a bit too quick there, people. So just be a little bit patient. Sweet. And the last one, deploy an exo skiff. And we've also got to catch four uncommon irradiated fish. Sweet. For the exo skiff, you need to actually install the exo skiff inside of your um, exo suit. So there it is there. So we need salt, we need crystal sulfide, and magnetized ferrite. So the ferrite dust, I have got quite a lot of pure ferrite there. I'm just going to put that into my refiner. Get that on the bake. And then I'm going to jump into the ocean and see if we can find the other things that we need to find. So we just you bring up the old scanner. There is a further mission to get pearls from the armoured clams. So you can get some of those while you're here. There's something like 15 or something or 13 to collect. But I'm going to go get the crystal sulfide. When you're diving down, you can just dig. If you want to hit the 50 U's, you can just dig down using your terrain manipulator to get to the 50 U's, which I just did. And uh, boom, can unlock that one. This is what the crystalline sulfide looks like. When you get close to it, you've got to be careful. It will rumble and it will exhaust a vent into the air that can hurt you pretty badly so just keep your distance when it does that there's three of these nodules to pluck off of them the first one that i got to it's um i killed it with the terrain manipulator by accident cool claim that one that gives you all the underwater base building parts right so now we should be able to get that in go into here Get my magnetized ferrite. And there's the skiff done. So to pull in the skiff, it's under this menu. And there it is. That's what it looks like. And that pops another badge. There we go. Cool. You can store all your fish inside of the skiff if you wish. But I'm going to go sell all my fish in a moment. Um, in the old uh, space station. But I'll show you another little tip for selling fish we check the pods and we can pick up the fish here that we've been catching ambiently nice this goes towards the milestone of the lazy fisherman we could go back to our first base where i put these and we'll probably complete that badge but we'll get to that when we get to it now you don't want to have to keep going to the station to sell your fish 
So if you speak to Celine over here, she's got a piece of technology that's going to help you massively. This is probably one of my biggest tips. You need to buy the hazmat gauntlet, so you're going to need a few nanites. But you get gifted like 900 nanites. Anyway, uh, there you go. You want this one, which is 90. The trade rocket. You can launch this from planet's surface. It's freaking brilliant. I'm going to need some tritium, so I'm going to need to go shoot a couple of asteroids. But that's not a big ask. If you're not finding asteroids, if you fly towards a ringed planet and into the rings, it's just full of asteroids. So getting your tritium is never a problem, because pretty much every single star system has a ringed planet. Okay, so there you go. That's where you can get your tritium from. There's also a lot of silver in here too. Some of the bait, to make the bait you need silver. So there we go. Okay, now I'm just gonna sell some fish because I'm running out of storage. Now there is a badge to sell fish anyway to get over 500,000 units. I don't think I'm gonna quite hit it, but hopefully we're gonna get close. There we go, sell all these guys. And the rest we'll be sending up in that trade rocket that I've just installed. But for now, let's just see how we get on. We're selling some of these. Can we get close? Maybe. Ah, oh, there's one that I missed. Oh, there's another one there. Pow. And I think we're good now. Okay, we've made 378,000. So we're over halfway. The rest we're doing the trade rocket. But at least that's cleared up some inventory space. Uh, we're now s still in phase two. And we've got one more badge to do, which is catch four uncommon irradiated fish. Well, I've arrived on the eradicated planet, and this is inside of Rendezvous 3 system. Coolio. So I'm on there right now, just doing a bit of fishing. And there's a storm in. So I've got the multi-pulse lure on and I'm hoping to catch a stormfish or a radiated fish there we go we've got a catch and it's a storm one that that but it wasn't uncommon but it still worked fins of thunder has popped one of the hardest badges awesome yeah I've put on the bionic lure which is great for catching legendary fish this one's rare and it's also a radioactive fish so, should count. Pretty nice. There you go, counts. One of four. And there we go. We've got the four irradiated fish. Pretty nice, I guess. And that's phase two done, people. So, there we go. Let's go in. Click that. Lovely jubbly. And make sure you collect all of your badges. Done. Phase three. All the gamma fish. I actually caught them on this planet here, and it's in Rendezvous 3. The giant fish to scan the abyssal horror or abyssal monster is actually on this planet. Okay, my very first dredge. I managed to get the uh, the bottle. Pretty awesome. Cool. Let's uh, pop that then. Wherever it is. There it is. Cool. Done. As I mentioned on this water planet is this giant shark. Scan him and you're gonna pop a badge that's quite hard to get. There we go, the Abyssal Wonder. That goes. And that was right near to the actual monolith where this expedition rendezvous point is. And there we go. Boom, he should recognize that. It was just off the coast of there. Done. Our next one is to build a base that's super deep underwater. Now, there's quite a lot of bases around here already. And because this is an actual marker, I don't want to build here. So I'm going to go out to sea and build one away from other people. There you go. So once you're 50 U's underneath the water, put down your base computer and build a base. You should have already been given a lot of the underwater base parts as a previous reward. So just get building. After I built the base, I deleted the base because I don't really want one underwater. I'm going to be putting one on the surface and making a little fishing lodge. There is a badge to catch a certain amount of cold water fish. 
Okay, right. I've got to catch five uncommon fish from an icy world. Now, I could use the Spice Chum, because they're going to give you rare fish. But I could use this one. This one gives you the chance of getting yourself a legendary fish. So I'm going to use that and hopefully get lucky. Because there is a badge later on to catch a legendary fish anyway. Okay, you can see there I've got a rhyme scale snapper that's found on icy planets and it's rare. So I just need to catch, what, another five of those or something to fill my quota? Yeah, five. Brian Skipper also counts. There's a lot of fish that count, to be fair. But there you go, on three or five. Great, that's another one. So, yep, four or five, nearly there. And that's it, we've got all five. Sweet. So I should pop the badge. Icy cold. Caught five or more fish from an icy weld. Okay, cool, yeah, so I can pop that. Now, the only badge left inside of here is to go back to my lazy pods and uh, pick the fish out of them. So I'm probably going to go do that in a second. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deploy this. I'm going to stick that down. I'm going to fill it full of my fish and launch it into the sky and see if we can then... Um, managed to pop this one on the final phase now because of course some pretty lovely fish we see how close we can get to the 500,000 now interact with this and here we go we'll stick them in lovely 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 a couple of purples there that's really gonna up the ante i'll stick that in there as well and i'm sticking other things just to sort of you know bring in a little bit of extra revenue but not only that just to free up a little bit of space the stuff that i don't overly need too much of so i get rid of some of that oh that one extra fish there might as well get rid of these oh no i don't want to take that i thought that was a cooking recipe that's gone back that's my bait I nearly sent my bait into the freaking stratosphere right it's going to get 362 hopefully that counts towards my fish goal there we go it does sweet and away goes the rocket. I told you it comes in handy. I don't have to keep going back to the stations. Okay. Pretty awesome. But for now, what I'm going to do is teleport back to my bases using the teleporter inside of the Nexus. And hopefully get the fast res res return item. I'll show you what I mean when I get there, people. Okay, chums, using this mini teleporter here will take you up to the next level and to a larger portal over here head on over here and you can use this to return to one of your older bases okay so here you go if i select your bases and if i go to rendezvous one where i put down my first collection pods and go there hopefully they would have collected enough fish to pop the badge okay right well i'm i'm at my little base let's go and have a look at these little pods and let's see if we've got some fish in them shall we we go first one yes we've got loads of fishermen fishes hello fishes Coolio. let's grab those sweet that's nine we're we gonna do it oh close i think actually yes i think this one's gonna pop it but i might as well collect the rest anyway since i'm here you never know one of them might have something lovely in oh got a b class not bad cool it all counts, doesn't it? Catch a little fishy, put it on your dishy till the fish comes in. Thank ya! And that's um, all of phase three done now, isn't it? So we go, phase three. Boom! Lovely, lovely. So we'll be moving on to phase four. And we've already popped, I think, one or two badges in phase four, if memory serves. Let's just check. Okay, yeah, we've got two in there already. But then on this menu, you've got return to space anomaly. The Space Anomaly is actually in Rendezvous 3, or wherever I got to. So it takes me straight back to where I was. Easy peasy. Okay, so I've reached the fourth destination. Now I've got to dredge for a bottle, and you've got it. All you need to do is take the actual bait off the hook and start dredging. And this could take some time. So, yep, back to your fishing rod, and away you go. Well, the very first one yet again. Okay, cool. Brilliant. Well, there we go. Get your little nugget of lore and pop your badge. Just wait for a little while. Don't be too impatient like I was last time. And boom. Okay, next off, we've got to go and collect a load of these pearls. So there's 15 living pearls to get. I'll show you the first one and then um, I'll go get all the rest. But you basically, you're looking for these icons like that. You see there? 
little yellow icon, little shell, head towards those. Little tip, you're going to be needing quite a lot of oxygen. These plants here, when you pick these up, they only do your main tank. They don't actually do your reserve tank. So if you zap these, boom, boom, they're going to give you kelp sacks. If you pop on over to here and you pick up those kelp sacks, kelp sacks, kelp sacks, where are you? You can actually refine those into oxygen. Okay, go. Cool. Let's swim it over this way. Right, that's done. I can take the oxygen out of there. Kapow. And then from my quick menu, I can hit the reserve tank and fill it full of oxygen. And now that bar at the bottom is going to stay at the top until that little reserve tank goes all the way down. Then it's going to start hitting your normal tank. Okay, so people were saying to me, Captain Steve, why are you zapping the kelp sacks for? Just pick them up. No, I need to top up the reserve tanks. I'm going to be zapping these all day long. Heck yes. You don't get much oxygen from them. It's best to have oxygen from the surface before you go into the water. I've lost my freaking... My, oh, there we go. Oh, did I go past it? Oh, great. This one's going to be under the ground. The reason why I said, oh, great, is sometimes when you're digging down, sometimes you can accidentally zap your clam out of existence. So be a bit careful. Here we go. Now you need your um, mining laser. And you just sort of give it a tickle. It opens. You grab your freaking pearl and then get out of there. Sweet. Lovely jubbly. Coolio. And then on to the next one. And we've got 15 of those to do. So I'll see you when I've got all 15. I got lucky here. There's quite a few all placed quite close together. Now you've also got to be careful. Some of these are smaller than others, but the hitboxes remain the same. You see, that was a small one. So you'd think the hitbox is smaller. No. Treat it like it's a big one. And look at that. I just got battered. I got hit by two things at the same time. Now I've got to be careful. Oh no, there's a load of evil jellyfish there as well. Okay, but there's some more clams here. And be brave. Come on, don't get hit. Don't die. <laughs> Just risking life for a pearl. There we go. We got him. Cool. Pretty fudge. That, that's a tip. Be careful. Now there is a bit of a bug on some of these. If you swim up close enough to them, you can just grab them without even having to zap them open in the first place, which makes them a little bit easier to grab. I mean, I've got to be careful of that plumy thing, but here we go. See what I mean? Lovely. That thing's going to blow in a second. I don't want to get battered again. Okay. Let's get down here. Let's grab that one. Oh. We're getting close, I think, to getting all the pearls. I think we're nearly done. There you go, Charms. All Pearl Collector Katie. Hey, guys. Pearl Diver. Cool. There we go. Done, Dilly, and done. Easy to peasy. Hey, Charms. So, I've already got a fishing resort on a gamma planet. So, I'm going to build a resort on this one instead. Yeah, on the boggy planet. And reason being is I want to try and catch the large fish there. I think it'd be more interesting to do it there anyway. Yeah, there no. you go, people. That one says large, so it is working. Oh, my counter down there did not go up. Catch large fish. Didn't quite work, did it? I think probably I'll be better on the hot planet. Now, you can see. refine the Mordite or the Fecium into meaty chunks, and that gives you 24%, which is even better still. But anyway, when it comes to the largest fish, I'm just going to press on anyhow. I'm going to go to the Rendezvous 4 and we'll do it on the last fishing planet because the fish there are freaking awesome. Now this last Rendezvous point is actually under the water and uh, yeah it's 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 an ancient ruins site basically. Okay so now I just need to sort of do some dredging so I'm just going to take the meat off at the moment and I'm just going to cast. Hopefully we get the bottle. And would you look at that? We actually caught a large fish without even trying. I don't know whether that counts towards the large fish that was back over here. An, an enormous fish. No, it didn't. 
Okay, cool. Well, we continue dredging anyway. Cool. Yeah, now that one says Colossal. That one's bound to have done it. Thank you. Let's have, let's have a quick look-see. Phase four. Does it actually work? Enormous fish. Yes, we've got one. Ha ha! And that was without any bait. <laughs> okay, so it just goes to show. It's better to fish for your giant fish on this planet. And we've got the bottle. Heck yes. Bottle. Lovely, lovely. And there we go. That's the bottle done. Hover over. Cool. So that's done. Oh, there we go. Those ones always take a little while to pop. Very odd. Sweet. Now we've got the encrypted mission that's now visible. The encrypted mission is to find the, ang the scales of the angler. Now you can just continue fishing here, to be fair. And what I would suggest is putting on a bait that's going to attract the, um, the rarer of fish. That one, probably. And let's just get fishing. Now this can take hours or it can take minutes. Um, you need to do it in deep ocean. People have said you need to be standing on your skiff. And people have said that either the spicy chum or this bait works best. Chums, it was the first one. I'm not lying. First one. Bang. Got it. And that's going to pop the legendary as well. That's freaking awesome. There we go. I've still got to do the colossal fish. So there we go. We've got that though. Boom. Tentacles figurine. Done that. Sweet. And I can pop that as well. The one that we haven't done is still in phase four. And it's this one here. And we've also got to land 100 fish. We're on 91 at the moment. I'm just going to keep the same bionic bait on. And I'm just going to do the fishing here. And hope we catch something lovely and big. Okay, so we've caught the 100 fish. Now... Funny thing is, although these meaty chunks say that they attract the big fish, I can see big fish swimming around, but it's always the small fish that's going for the bait. So I don't know whether the meaty chunks is a good tip, to be fair, because I'm not catching anything large on it. It's all medium or small. So you know what? I'm going to swap out to the bait that gives us night fish, since we're fishing at night, because... I've got a feeling that some of my big fish that I caught on my PlayStation 5 save were at night on this bait. If it's just taking a long time to reel in. Yes, Colossal. There we go. That's what we're after. We want another one of those. And you can kind of tell when it's a big fish because the actual hologram is a lot larger when it starts nibbling on the actual bait. I mean, technically, if you don't see one of those large holograms, you can just use L1 and retract your line. This one looks like it might be a medium or large. It doesn't look like it's colossal. But let's just get it in anyway. I think it's going to be medium from that hologram. Oh, it's large, but it's not colossal. You can tell the colossal ones. They're big, meaty fish. Well, I'd swap an out to the uh, pulse bait. and call myself a legendary fish. Pretty nice. Okay, chums. I just remembered where I finished off on my PlayStation 5. And it's on this one here. Now, it's got magnetised ferrets, so it's got storms. So if you use the actual storm bait, you can bring in some very big fish. The actual meaty chunks I've made, what they do is they catch common, but large common fish. Heavy varieties of them, pretty much. So you don't want to be using the... Um, the meaty chunks even though it says that it does make the catch size improve what you want to be going for is is something that lures in a fairly decent fish all round so something like that let's track storm loving fish but we want to use that one in a storm now storms don't take long but hopefully if we use this one we might catch something big and rare let's give it a go well there we go people it worked inside of the storm on that stormy planet. Done, dilly, and done. And I think that's everything done now. Sweet. And let's go over to the expedition. Pop that last badge. Yes, all done. Diddly and done. Coolio. And let's just claim that. Sweet, we've got the rod. See, I, I managed to get the legendary without even equipping the rod. Uh, final reward. 
And that's it. That's everything, pretty much there, people. So yeah. One other thing, people. When you're ending off your expedition, you can actually pick up all the stuff from your expedition. I'm going to take all these little lore snippets over with me. So there we go. They're all there in the console at the back of the actual spaceship anomaly. And just hit End Expedition. And accept a Mondo. Now it's going to transfer everything over after you've given this little scorecard. Reminds me of my time at Zap Attack and Quasar. Laser tag, basically. The Americans, I think you call it Photon. Yeah, there used to be a TV show called Photon. It was freaking epic. Anyway, it's going to tally everything up. Sadly, it doesn't tell you how many fish you caught. On an expedition of fishing, it'd be nice if they added that in. But there we go. Anyway, people, I think I've done pretty good. Got it done fairly relatively quickly this time. Hopefully you've learned something that you didn't know before. Yeah, thank you for watching. We've got everything. We've got the accept message. Done, done, and done. Next, I'll probably be doing a review of this, to be fair, people. But I'll see you for that video. And I hopefully you've enjoyed these top tips. If you have, please hit like, subscribe, and all that sort of shenanigans, and share it with friends on social media. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Yeah.